Nigel Van Vague contends that his alleged role in the scandal has been exaggerated and that the charges do not accurately reflect his actions or involvement. Van Vake, implicated as one of the players in the fish rod scandal, has retained criminal defense lawyer Mbanga Siomunyi to contest the charges. Van Vake's trouble with the law started when he reportedly denied police officers access into Shangala's farm when officers wanted to arrest Shangala and James Hatwikulipi. He was subsequently released on a warning and re-arrested shortly after he allegedly removed incriminating evidence from Shangala's office while the latter was incarcerated. Van Vake worked as an employee for the private company owned by Shangala and other accused persons. He previously also worked as a clerk at the office of the Attorney General during Shangala's time at the office. Sio Mungi, however, argues that Van Veik's involvement in the affairs has been misrepresented and that the charges against him are not substantiated with any sufficient evidence. In response, the state is defending the charges vigorously, pointing to the extensive evidence gathered during the investigations into the fish fraud scandal. Prosecutor General stressed the seriousness of the offenses and their detrimental impact on Namibia's economy and public trust. The fish rod scandal exposed widespread corruption in Namibia's fishing industry involving political figures and business elites. Van Veik is the only one of the accused person who is free on bail, notwithstanding co-accused former Investec employee Ricardo Gustavo was granted bail of $800,000 in December 2021 just to be reversed later by the Supreme Court on state appeal. A year later, Daniel Nadunyan BC News.